Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another siege battle on Conqueror's Blade. So, we're on a little bit of a siege battle on Wallfort. I thought I'd bring you along. Um, we're actually in a ranked siege battle. I've not actually really played ranked at all since... Well, I only played a few when it first released back in... Season 6? 7? Something like that? I can't even remember. Never really done it. Um, don't know why I'm playing some now, to be honest. I just thought since they're on, be a bit of a laugh. Anyway, so we're on a siege battle. I'm just thinking about getting up and trying to get to the B point here. Um, just a few serfs. We shall try and get in what we can. Don't call me Evo Slayer of Peasants for nothing. Obviously, if you're wondering why I'm using Weapon Dance, then that's because um, we now have the self heal rune on the pole axe, so um, Weapon Dance basically acts as a self heal. The actual ability itself is terrible, but the Weapon Dance self heal is kind of nice. Um, can we save that glaive? Oh, I'm not sure if he lived or not. <laughs> Let's just try and get some of these guys down. They've got one enemy pole axe. We've got these friendly berserkers here, which is pretty nice. Try and push on through. Oh, nice. We've got a kill on someone. Just keep pushing up. If we can get to B and get B secured, it's always kind of a nice start to the game. Um, while we're pushing up here, though, one thing I did want to quickly mention. If you hadn't noticed, we have started a second channel, which is where we're going to really be hosting my more sort of random games. So if you kind of enjoy some of the sort of non-medieval, non-Conqueror's Blade stuff, then I'll put a link in the uh, top of the description to the second channel. So do go and check that stuff out. But that's going to be more things like, you know, Rogue Tower and uh, other just sort of random game, city building games and all that, that sort of thing. Anyway, um, I'm pushing these um, Martellatory forwards just basically as a block to the enemy unit so they can't get in so easily. Because I don't really care if I lose the Martellatory. I just wanted to make sure the enemy couldn't get troops on point and stop us from capping. We're actually putting in quite a bit here. Um, goodness. We should perhaps think about trying to treb this. Oh, nope. Someone's already got a treb down. So <laughs> Someone was thinking the same thing. Um, oh, we've got, got dogs as well. That means we've got houndsmen not far behind. I would say we are probably, probably screwed. Oh, God. We've got a dual blades as well. Oh, God. Don't think I could escape. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that didn't 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 quite pan out as intended. Um, but we only lost um, some artillery and we actually got the B point. So I think that was well worth the move, to be honest. And actually, we killed quite a few enemy heroes and quite a bit of enemy stuff. And it looks like quite a lot of the enemy team has now gone to B. So hopefully, hopefully we can now respawn and basically push A hard. It'd be nice if we destroyed that little breach in the wall so they couldn't get back to the A point so easily, but let's, um, yeah, let's go. Let's get the Iron Reapers out, see what we can do with them. Um, I suppose actually we've got quite a long way to go, so let's double tap C, which is rare for me. You don't see me using double tap C very often. I, I don't really like it, but for these Iron Reapers, it, it kind of is a necessity, particularly when you're going over long distances like this. And we've got a fair bit of team push going on, actually, to be fair. Got some guns at the back. Uh, some friendly reapers here. Oh, we've got more. Try and get you on the floor. Oh, roll out for the palace guards. Come on, reapers. Have you made it to the battle yet? Oh, they've got um the um, tier 5 pike, which name completely eludes me. Um, God, what are they called? That's going to really annoy me now. They are called the... No, I don't know. Let's just get our Reapers in. <laughs> this is the problem with doing live videos. Um, okay, let's try and get this this Polax down. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, push in. Uh, these are just iron um, iron caps. These aren't going to be a problem. Medal! That's it. Medal. I remembered. It's been a long day. <laughs> these Iron Reapers obviously doing us quite good work. Up to 50 kills. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think I want to go down that staircase, though. Because we're just going to start getting hit by a lot of stuff. Let's pull back onto A. Try and help secure the cap. Um, is that enemy? Is enemy more? Is enemy pike unit? Oh, I thought they were going to come for us. Well, in which case, should we chase you? I suppose we probably should. Get some uh, some cheeky free kills. Come back here. Oh, we're getting caught at the bottom. And in with a little bit of, little bit of damage. Nice. Okay, we've got a few of them as well. Now, ideally, I want my medal here. This is where it's going to turn into the cav map. 
because now we're off the A and B point essentially. The enemies basically normally will switch out to Cav. And the C point is so open on this map that it's just like a Cav's paradise. So really, I'd much rather have my Medal here. But it's quite a long way back to the supply point. And neither the Medal nor the Iron Reapers are a particularly fast unit, so it will take them quite a long time for us to change out. We've certainly got a lot of friendly Iron Reapers here with us. So all we're going to have to do is try and be really switched on and try and use these slight bits of barricade and terrain to try and help us uh, basically avoid the worst of the cav charges. Just trying to keep half an eye on what's going on around me. Got those outriders over to the right hand side. We've got cav here coming in from the left. Let's try and use the barricades. A few Keshigs coming in. I'm going to go on with my tiger step just to try and get the damage on these Keshigs. Come on. Yeah, getting some of them down. Nice, 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 nice. You know, whenever you, any sort of single Keshi kills are always worthwhile having. When you can sort of catch them like that, they didn't get that much damage in. I'm just trying to use the obstacles, basically, to protect me. But my unit is, having said that, pretty badly damaged now. Nearly got the cap on the sea, though. Oh, more enemy cav coming in. Let's try and just get the outskirts of it, get the few extra Keshigs down. Oh, we're going to have to get stuck in here, aren't we? There's those javelins over there. They could be a viable target. Oh, hello. Go round, go round. Charge! Um, right, there we go. Okay, nice we've got in amongst them. Let's just go to work with these guys. We've got our tiger step. Let's go on with that. If we can get this maul down, it'd be nice. Yeah, nice attempt to grab. Oh, no. Hey, we even got the kill on him. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, we can just deal with the last of these javelins. Nice, that takes us up to eight to kills. Now let's try and push... Basically the supply point. And from there we should be able to grab out our Madao. Oh, he died. Grab out our Madao and then, well, we can then push on the... Ah, I'm stuck on a cannon. Someone's obviously got on it because it's indestructible, even though that was probably an enemy cannon at one point. So, Madao. And then we can push the base point and hopefully we can start to get some pressure on them from there. We've probably killed quite a lot of them on that C point. If we go quickly, I'd say there's a pretty reasonable chance we should be able to... Uh, to get in and start to apply the pressure on. And I think they've lost quite a bit of good stuff trying to defend that C point, as well as the A and B. So, you know, we might not have that much enemy stuff to deal with. Those archers are slightly annoying, but someone's going in for a treb. Well, I mean, such a long way from the start of the map, the treb travel time is quite high. <laughs> Come on, my little Madao. As the trebs slam in in the distance. Just got to get around this stupid barricade. Oh, is that spear sergeants? Ooh, yes, please. I, this is nothing. Can't see any cav around as waiting in as a bait. Okay, well in we go. Only with the pole axe we got behind the lines. Let's just get the unit on the offensive. Nice, and let's just push into these shields. He's an easy kill, really. Oh, followed by a few few pikes. Oh, this is lovely. Feels like a setup. Thank you very much. She'll take them. Just got to watch out for those Falcos. You can see them raining in. But ultimately, we're starting to control the point. I think if we can push through... We've got Trebs coming we've just got to watch out for. But if we can push through and basically block up the top of these stairs, then really, we're just going to be fine from there. Um, we've got Cav going in. Bit of friendly Trebs, but lovely, lovely, lovely. There's a couple of, a couple of Cedar Dars at the bottom. And look, we've got this secured. We've got the point secured. We're pushing them through. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh, nope, a couple of people still on point. Is that a couple of Keshigs? Oh, brace. Thank you. Into the front of the Madao. Nice. Just check around, make sure we've not got anyone coming from behind. And then, oh, we've got a unit of enemy Madao. Let's just do our Madao walk into them. And then just keep pushing forwards with what's left of them. Nice, and there we go. Point captured and victory. Nice. And we even got a uh, few points there as well. Anyway... Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conquest Blade content. As I mentioned, don't forget to check out the second channel if you're interested in any of my sort of other type of more, more random videos. And uh, do let me know over there. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you all on the next one.